Study is happening right here in the mid-state to find new medications to treat COVID-19. The study is trying to find data that may show the medications can actually be repurposed now to fight the virus. News 4's Ryan Breslin is live from the Clinical Trial Center of Middle Tennessee, which is helping conduct this trial. All right, good morning to you, Ryan. So walk us through this and what's happening there. Hey, good morning to you, Holly. Well, this trial is for anyone who just recently tested positive for COVID-19 and is willing to try a treatment with one of three medications. The trial is called Active 6, and the goal of it is to try and prevent people with COVID-19 from getting sicker or ending up in the hospital. One of the patients who we spoke to is Brent Hendrickson. Really, we're all still learning as to how to treat this, how to combat this, how do we move forward? Then when he when he said this is these are the trials that we have, would you be open to this? I said, let's do it. Hendrickson says when he tested positive for COVID, he reached out to his doctor for treatment options and they suggested this study. The clinical trial includes three medication options, the inhaled steroid fluticasone, the antidepressant fluvoxamine, or a safe dose of ivermectin. As someone who was unvaccinated as a personal choice, he was willing to take ivermectin along with a vitamin regimen from what he had previously heard about the medication. He says he's now recovered but still has fatigue and headaches. While he doesn't know if he got the drug or the placebo, he says he's glad that he participated. Yes, I didn't get the vaccine. I got COVID. I, I understand what that means. But I also understand that after getting it, I can be part of the solution and looking at the statistics for those who, who chose, to, who made the personal choice not to get it. Now, the clinical trial does plan to enroll 15,000 people across the United States. There are some requirements, though. You have to be over 30 years old, recently tested positive for COVID-19 within seven days, and not been hospitalized with the virus. Holly? Yeah, and Ryan, one of the drugs you mentioned in the study is that ivermectin, and we've heard a lot of people taking ivermectin on their own to treat COVID. So is that why it's included in this trial? Well, Holly, doctors say that this is a safe way to try and see if ivermectin works as a treatment. They also say that they can dose it better by judging it off of people's weights. As you know, a lot of folks are taking ivermectin um, based on dosing for animals and, and non-humans. And so the problem with that is that it's actually relatively easy to take too much ivermectin and have a lot of side effects. So this is a much safer way for somebody interested in ivermectin to get the medication. Now, they are still looking to enroll people, and if you recently tested positive and are interested in this, you can go to their website, active6study.org, or call 1-833-385-1880.